want you guys to know that I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm okay. I'm taken care of. I can so cool, guys. Please. And even if Lindsay nka soko lo anything guys, na ko hai ko ko ke changa siko mi pukum. Ke tla ko ko hai ho shapo guys, ke sana lo ba tswali wa re ka ngoba nhlokomela. I never ke soko ho le. I never ke soko ho. And a deep down, li the haters when we comment on my paper and they are like, "Hey, what are we what were you doing the thing?" Yes, o nnali mo guys, okay. Ne I get you so badly want to classify him as my boyfriend. So my very boyfriend is alone. I don't like Alex. Le pala lo ko tswa le mo di relationship in bal reketse di week tsa lo. Ba shima le mahano tswa ba hano le fa di week tsa bal reketse ntswa na mo relationship. Na guys, I'm so blessed to have been given a car and a house. Do you understand? So whether I decide what I decide in terms of the things that have been left behind for me. Like literally, but I'm honestly here to really like address the people that have been sending me DMs. <sighs> Guys, please. One, I work. Also, I work. I've got a job. I work. I work. <laughs> I work. But. I need you guys to stop running with the narrative. Yeah, or she was left with nothing. There is no way in hell, guys. But when I was coming to Mula, like what the angry to my age, but now I don't have a lot of money. Money, medical aid, nothing. You guys are just upset. <laughs> You're upset. You're upset, but it's okay. The late DJ Somebody's partner has finally breaks her silence on an Instagram live. She confirms that she was left with a car and a house. She says we are forcing the title girlfriend on her. Then she dragged girls who settle for way less items like weaves and girls who are not even put on the medical aid of their partners. Few days ago, it was reported that DJ Somebody's family kicked his girlfriend of 13 years out of the house she was staying in. The girlfriend lived with the DJ for six years. However, she was recently told to leave the house by the DJ's family. Unfortunately, reports have it that she was told to leave the luxurious place so that the family could do some cleansing. A source revealed to Sunday World that Moloi is living in Twane currently. It was also revealed that she is willing to take legal actions against her late boyfriend's family. However, it has also been reported that Moloi also demanded a share of DJ Sampari's estate from his business partner. Rumors is it that she failed to find common ground with DJ Sambri's family, hence she was kicked out. So after she did this video, Sam went on to say, I think she did well by clarifying this. My lady, just move on with your life. If it means taking a break from social media, do so. You are such a beautiful soul. You deserve everything in this world. And she did really good by clarifying it because it was all over. She was trending. She really had to come out and clarify this. One thing about South Africans, they would drag you two days straight. And when you finally respond or fight back, they would say you are mean or rude. So she should have just kept quiet and let people speak ill of her and somebody. Come on guys, let's be fair. Truly, let's be fair. Because others are saying that she was not even supposed to come out and say anything. But sometimes things really get into you and you really want to speak out your mind. So I'm glad that she did come out and clarify this. This girl is so humble, Shem. They must leave her alone. She is beautiful and God will bless her with another loving and supportive partner. I feel like she missed the point. People were showing her support after it was said that they are taking the house from her. Sometimes people contradict themselves trying to clarify unnecessary things. Some of us don't rely on men. We provide for ourselves. But I think she did say in the video that she works for herself. It's not like she was relying on the men. She was in love with this guy and she was also working. And you must also understand that it's in human nature that you will not want to clarify people that are supporting you or you will not want to thank everyone that is supporting you. You would want to start by addressing the people that were saying negative things about you. And that's what you want to talk about because you get affected by negative things not positive positive it makes you feel good but even if 100 people say positive things if one person comes and say negative things you always want to address 
that one person that says negative things about you so i don't really blame her i feel like she has to do what she has to do she's still grieving and if this thing is really really happening she really needs to come out and say that guys i'm working i was left as well with a car and a house and that's all that matters because you need somewhere to stay and you need transportation to take you from one place to another but anyway guys that's my take on this until the next time please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe to our channel peace